What would a small black hole do to your body? Imagine walking down the street, and a tiny black hole passes right through your body. Sounds like pure Sifi V, but a physicist at Vanderbilt University actually ran the numbers to find out what would really happen. Primordial black holes are hypothetical objects formed in the first second after the Big Bang. They can range in mass from a hundred thousand times lighter than a paperclip to a hundred thousand times heavier than the sun. Some scientists even think they could make up dark matter. So, what would a small one do to you? According to physicist Robert Scherer, there are two major effects. First, supersonic shock waves. A black hole would be moving incredibly fast, faster than the speed of sound. As it punches through your body, it generates a shock wave, similar to a bullet tearing through tissue, except far more violent. This alone could cause catastrophic internal damage. Second, tidal forces. These are the same forces that stretch stars near black holes, just on a human scale. Because gravity gets stronger, the closer you are to the black hole, your cells would literally be pulled apart. Your brain cells are especially sensitive, and would tear almost instantly. So is this something you should worry about? Not at all. Share stresses that primordial black holes may not even exist, and even if they do, the universe is so empty that one passing through a human is essentially impossible. A large one could kill you like a microscopic cosmic bullet, but a very tiny primordial black hole could pass through your body without you ever noticing. The study I is in T. About scaring people, it is. About using the human body as a detector to understand dark matter. If black holes big enough to kill people existed in large numbers, we'd already have noticed. So, the good news? You're safe. The bad news? We still have no idea what, what dark matter really is. 